Hello, I'm Tom, and in this series of videos I will solve the puzzles of the fabulous new game Cross Cells by Matthew Brown, the inventor of Hex Cells and Square Cells also. Um, also, all of them are quite nice logical puzzle games. <coughs> I uh, solved all the puzzles in Cross Cells in a like four hour sitting, and I thought I'd share my solutions um, with you. Maybe I can help you here and there. Um, so let's just uh, let, let's jump right into a new slot here <coughs> and start with puzzle one. Uh, I think I will try and solve five puzzles per video, at least in the beginning. Uh, let's see how long this will take me. And um, yeah, let's start with puzzle number one. Okay, the basic mechanic of um, cross cells is explained here. Um, you need to use the total value at the end of the row, the plus four here, or four in total, to determine which tiles can be removed. Yeah? So obviously you need to add them, sort of, uh, these tiles, uh, with the plus at least, and uh, come up with four in total. That obviously is one and three, so we can remove the two, because there's no way we can use the plus two to come up with four. It's either three or five or six even. So we can delete this with a uh, right click. Nothing happens. We have to also have to mark the tiles that we want to keep like this. Second puzzle. Um, here we have basically the same mm, puzzle mechanic. We can start with this clue here. Uh, we need a total value of seven in this column. That can only be achieved by using the plus three and the plus four. The plus two is no use here, so we can remove it. And um, in this column here, we need a total value of 3. The 4 obviously cannot be used since we don't have minus tiles. So we can delete this and mark these two squares here, or tiles. And now let's see, we need a total value of 10 in this row here. And we already have plus 4 and plus 2. That equals plus 6. So we need another 4. Uh, there's no way, way we can use the uh, plus 3 here, because we would need another plus 1, which we don't have. So we need to use the uh, plus 2 and plus 2 here. And we can remove the plus 3, which leaves us with exactly the tiles we need for the total value of 3 in this column here. It's plus 1 and plus 2, and we completed the puzzle. So uh, it's getting a little bit more complex more uh, uh, now. Here, um, the way I would usually start with is looking at the biggest total value clue. We need 10 here, and then figure out if we can do it without the biggest number, which would be a plus 5. If we removed this tile, we would, ha would be left with plus 1 plus 3 equals 4, plus 2 equals 6, plus 1 equals 7. So if we didn't use the plus 5, we couldn't reach a total value of 10, so we have to mark this one. Now the same is true for the uh, plus 3, I think. If we would remove this, we would be left with plus 1 plus 5 equals 6, plus 2 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9. That's one short of 10, so we also need the plus 3 here. Yeah? Um, I think we cannot go on, can we go on actually? 3, that's 8, and we need 2, it could be this one or these two, so we can't deduce anything else here in this uh, row. But since we have a clue here in this column, we need three, uh, a total value of three in this column, and we already have plus three, we can remove this tile here. And now we can do the same thing uh, that we did down here for this row up here. Uh, the nine, um, it's obviously uh, like we don't need to deduce anything actually. We can see that we need all of these tiles here. One plus four plus three plus one equals nine. So we can mark all these four tiles. And then uh, this clue here is complied with already. We have marked plus one and we need a total value of one, so we can remove this plus one here. And since we need two more in this row here, uh, and we only have plus one and plus two, it can only be the plus one and the, pl uh, the plus two and the plus one can be removed. So now we get to puzzle four. And um, yeah, I'd like to start the same way like I did in the last puzzle. I'm looking at the uh, column with the uh, total value of 10 and like see if we can uh, comply with this 10 without the plus 4. If we removed this tile, we would end up with plus 3 plus 2 equals 5, plus 1 plus 1 equals 7. So um, 
that's 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 far below 10 so we need the plus 4 can we do it without the plus 3 also let's see um, plus 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8 doesn't work so we also need the plus 2 uh, plus 3 so now we already have 7 marked here and we need another 3 right to come up with 10 in the end and 3 we can only achieve with the plus 2 and 1 plus 1 so we can also mark the plus 2 actually yeah? now uh, we don't know which plus 1 we need here um, we can't deduce anything from this clue from this clue also not also not from this clue this one is also not working so it has to be the uh, total value of 9 here so let's see um, where we get if we have plus 1 here plus 2 equals pl uh, 3 plus 2 equals 5 now if we if we take this 5 and add 3 we would end up with 8 but we need 9 so that means that we definitely need both plus 3's here plus 3 tiles in this column otherwise we cannot reach the uh, total value of 9 so we can mark those two plus 3 tiles here that uh, gives us a 6 and we need 3 more now the 3 more uh, we can only achieve with the plus 1 right uh, because we only have even numbers here and we need an uneven number and only one uneven plus tile so this one definitely has to be part of the uh, solution but we don't know which one of these two uh, will uh, uh, be the final tile to uh, get the equation to, to 9 right so um, but since we marked those two here already we can see that the total value of 6 is already complied with we have two tiles marked with plus 3 so that adds up to 6 and we can remove this tile so now we need in this column um, a total value of 3 and we have exactly plus 1 and plus 2 left so we can mark both of them and that means that this clue is fulfilled 2 times 2 and this clue is also fulfilled 2 times 1 so we can remove the remaining tiles in these rows sorry <coughs> um, and then yeah basically we had uh, we have here 3 plus 4 is a 7 plus 2 is 9 we need plus 1 so we can mark this one and here we have 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 and we need another plus 2 so we mark that one and complete the puzzle that brings us to the last puzzle in this video puzzle number five um, here we can start by looking at this row for instance we need 12 and we have four plus five tiles and one plus two tile we definitely need the plus two tile because if we didn't have that we could only end up with five ten fifteen or twenty um, so we can mark this one and furthermore let's see uh, we need two five tiles we don't know which one yet let's look at this one here no we need one plus one tile two plus one tiles oh yes look at the uh, total value of 10 clues at the bottom here um, let's see again if we can like like if we have enough tiles to to get a value of 10 without the plus 5 we would have plus 3 plus 1 equals 4 plus 2 equals 6 plus 2 equals 8 so that doesn't work we need the plus 5 here and here we can do the same thing let's assume we wouldn't have the plus 5 that would mean we have plus 3 plus 1 equals 4 plus 2 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7 so that's also not enough so we can also mark the plus 5 here and um, furthermore uh, in this column we can also see that we need the plus 3 if we didn't have this one here this tile up there we would only have 5 plus 1 equals 6 plus 2 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9 but we need 10 so the plus 3 definitely has to be part of the solution um, and also now uh, in this row we uh, have the uh, final solution ready we have plus 5 and plus 5 plus 2 equals 12 so we can remove these two tiles okay um, what else can we see here oh yes let's look at this no that doesn't work yet uh, 2 1 1 1 5 and 3 here we can look at this row now the total value of five, uh, 9 that we need here uh, if we didn't have the plus 4 we would have 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 equals 7 only so the 4 has to be part of the solution and since we have an even number already we need as um, the end result an odd number we need at least one 
odd number uh, in this in this row here, which can only be the plus one, right? So we can mark this one. <coughs> we need two more plus two tiles, but we don't know which yet. Um, but this column is completed this way, right? We have plus one plus two equals three. So we can remove this plus one tile. And now for this row, we know that we have to mark both plus one tiles that are uh, left to get the total value of two here. Now if we look at this clue again, we need a, a total value of 10 in this column here. We have 3 plus 5 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9. So we need another plus 1, which is here. And can we, we can remove the plus 2 tile. And now looking at this clue here, we need 2 times plus 2 again, because we have 4 plus 1 equals 5. We need 9, so another 4. And we have plus 2 and plus 2. That's 4 exactly, so let's mark them. So now... Uh, we have 5 plus 1 plus 2 in this column here, that equals 8. And we need 10, and we have another plus 2 here, so let's mark it, and remove the unnecessary plus 3. That completes the puzzle. And that completes the first section of the uh, game. I hope you had fun watching this. Uh, I hope I could help a little bit, maybe, uh, even though these puzzles in the beginning are quite easy. And uh, I hope to see you again in my next video when I will solve the uh, puzzles 6 through 10 of the nice game Cross Cells. Bye!